Hey everyone, this is Steve Contorno, political editor for the Tampa Bay Times. Let's get you caught up in some of the big stories this week in Florida politics. Yesterday was a big day on the campaign trail in Tampa, where we had both President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden in Tampa campaigning within 10 minutes of each other. Of all the places in the 3.8 million square miles across the country, they both decided to spend five days before the election in Tampa, really showing how important that city is to the election. Uh, so some of the things they talked about, we obviously had a huge juxtaposition of a maskless rally for Donald Trump and President, or Vice President Joe Biden, everyone was masked, socially distanced, really laying out two different visions for the coronavirus and the pandemic as well. Donald Trump saying we're rounding the corner, Vice President Joe Biden saying he wants to shut down the virus. We'll see what, which side wins when we get to the election on Tuesday. Speaking of the election, we've had so many people vote so far in uh, Florida. 3.1 million Democrats have cast ballots. Just under 3 million Republicans have also cast ballots already. And of course, the unknown, the non-party voters, we've had 1.6 million of those. We don't know what this means. There's been such record turnout so far that it could, be, it could mean that we've shifted a ton of votes to early in the election because of the pandemic, or it could mean that we're gonna have record high turnout still to come. As it is, we obviously have no idea what the, turn, what, what the result is gonna be in Florida. It's gonna be razor thin, but Florida we know could change the outcome of the race with Donald Trump needing Florida it to, in order to win back the White House. Vice President Joe Biden would love to win the state, deal a knock, first round knockout blow to the president and, and clinch his path to victory. Finally, we had some really interesting local news in politics. We had a, a Republican stalwart, the tax collector, collector of Pasco County, Mike Fasano. He is a former House uh, leader in, in, he's a former House Republican leader. He decided to come out and endorse former Vice President Joe Biden. He called Donald Trump an embarrassment. Anyone who knows Mike Fasano knows that he is one of the most credible and well-liked officials in the area. And here he is coming out with a huge endorsement just days before the election. That's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. As always, you can find us at tampabay.com or sign up for our Buzz newsletter at tampabay.com newsletters.